All right, good evening. I've got 6.30. I'm going to call to order this meeting of the Columbus Common Council for April 1st, 2019. Pat, when you're ready, could you take a roll call for us? Clark? Here. Hendrickson? Here. Reed? Here. Tylen? Here. Tome? Here. Traxler? Here. All present. Thank you. If able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. the agenda unless there's any alterations or deletions I'll take a motion to approve the agenda <clears throat> second I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda any discussion on the motion if none all those in favor please say aye aye, aye. any opposed agendas approved as presented uh, no one was signed up this evening under correspondence and communications <clears throat> is there anyone present that wished to speak that didn't get a chance to sign up seeing none we'll move on to the consent agenda <clears throat> we have the council meeting minutes uh, from March 20th, the regular and the committee of the whole meeting. Were there any corrections on the meeting minutes? If none, I'll take a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the consent agenda as presented. Any discussion on that? If none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Consent agenda has been approved. On to old business number one. Consider and take action on the renewal of the clay lateral reimbursement program. We discussed this at the Committee of the Whole, and I think there were a few questions <clears throat> about the language in the um, uh, application and also about funding. And Kim Manley's provided us with memos this evening about the funding in the memorandum. Uh, she states that in May of 2018, the council approved $30,000 to fund uh, this program from the Sierra Utility Connection Fee account, and the total amount that was spent was $5,485. That would have been um, run parallel with the uh, street projects that were done as well at the same time. And this would be tied directly to the uh, connection fee account from the wastewater fund, which has a balance of $266,000. So it looks like Kim is recommending using that as a funding source. <clears throat> and also on the application, I believe there was a reference to being pre-approved. And that language looks like it has changed. Thank you, Kim. It says contact the city prior to the work starting with the plumber's name. So if there's an emergency situation, there's no, I think it was a 15-day notice prior. Thank you for the information, Kim. Did the council have any questions? All right, if there are no questions, then I'll take a, mo a motion um, from the council. Here, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the renewal of the clay lateral reimbursement program. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the renewal of the clay lateral reimbursement program. Any discussion on the motion? If none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks again, Kim, for the information. <clears throat> uh, on to new business number one. Consider and take action on a job description for the municipal court clerk. I don't know if anybody from the court ad hoc committee or staff had any comments on this. <clears throat> no change really from the committee of the whole. Um, as we talked about at the last meeting, uh, we have begun the recruitment for a clerk and hopefully find us the, the right candidate. Okay. Any questions from the council on the job description? If not, I'll entertain any action from the council then. Make a motion to approve the job description for the municipal court clerk. Second. Second. Oh. Motion in two seconds to approve the job description for the municipal court clerk. Any discussion on the motion? If none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. New business number two. Consider and take action on a contract with TIPS, T-I-P-P-S, to municipal court software. I'm going to turn that over to Patrick. 
Okay, yeah. Um, at the last, at the Committee of the Whole, I brought forward just an update from the Court Ad Hoc Committee and our planned expenses, and included in that list was the plan for the TIP software system to be utilized as the, as the vendor for the court uh, software that's uh, necessary to work with the state courts. Um, I brought it to uh, the regular meeting tonight with the hopes that uh, I could get uh, support for the contract. Um, we're getting close to the time when the court is gonna uh, begin on May 1st. Uh, Paul's had a chance to review the contract and uh, he, he can comment on, on if he has any concerns. Uh, initially, he didn't have any when he talked to me. Um, so that's what's before you tonight. Thank you, Patrick. Paul, you don't have any concerns with the contract language? Uh, not with the language itself. I mean, that uh, it made sense to me. The only question that I had that I ran by Patrick was exactly how many uh, licenses are you looking at? How many stations do you need to have prepared? And do the uh, police need to be hooked into this somehow? And the answer to the last one, at least, is no. Okay. Andy? Yeah, I was just going to also add that... Um, the software came in quite a few thousand dollars under the budget, what we had originally budgeted. I think we budgeted up to maybe 30, 30 or uh, I, I think it's where, where we started, but okay. uh, we were, I think, a little closer to 20 okay. as anticipated costs. So it came in pretty well under budget. And I believe the answer is one um, license. Right. Okay. If I could quickly, too, just... Um, when we first started looking into this, we, we consulted with a lot of other court clerks and overwhelmingly they recommended this, this uh, program. We also did check with um, local PD to make sure that this program would work with their, their software and their computers. Good. Great. Thanks for all the work done on that. All right. Any other questions from the council on this? If not, I'll entertain a motion from the council to approve that contract. Make a motion to approve the contract for the TIPS um, court maintenance software. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve the contract with TIPS for the municipal court software. Any discussion on the motion? If none, uh, could we please take a roll call, Pat? Clark? Aye. Hendrickson? Aye. Reed? Aye. Tylen? Aye. Traxler? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Number three, consider and take action on applicators for operators licenses um, for July 1st, 2018 to June 30th, 2020. Uh, we have three names in the packet, Beth Vandervelden, Sue Fisher, and Amber Wood. <clears throat> that one is not included, correct, Pat? The one in bold? Correct. Yes. Okay. Unless there's any questions. Yeah. Pardon? Approving this one though, right? New, not included in. Oh, are we approving the fourth in the bold? Yes. Okay, I didn't read that name. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's Amanda Williams as well as the fourth. Sorry. Okay. Thanks for pointing that out, Andy. Mm -hmm. Any questions from the council on this? If none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the operator's licenses as read. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion and a second to approve the operator's licenses as read. Any discussion on the motion? If none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. On to number four, consider and take action on claims in the amount of $575,503.00. Any questions on the claims? <clears throat> if there are no questions on the claims, I'll entertain a motion to approve them in the amount read. <clears throat> motion to approve the claims in the amount read. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve the claims for the city in the amount of $575,503. Any discussion on the motion? If none, could we please take a roll call, Pat? Hendrickson? Aye. Reed? Aye. Tylen? Aye. Traxler? Aye. Clark? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, on to report of city officers. Patrick, I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Uh, just a couple of things to highlight. Tonight, uh, on Saturday, the Landscape Recycling Center was open for 2019. Uh, just want to note, and uh, we had 
uh, some folks out there helping with people coming in. Uh, we're, we're looking for people with their green hangers to get a 2019 sticker to, uh, to qualify essentially to bring materials in for this year. Um, we want to make this a learning process, so we'll bear with us, but uh, you can get those stickers uh, at uh, City Hall and DPW, so there are and no cost. Uh, and that uh, the hours run uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 1 to 6, Saturdays from 8 to 3, uh, up and th through November 30th. Also, uh, on April 18th, the DOT will be in town for a, a public business ed education meeting. Uh, they're going to be doing some work this summer on the surface of Highway 151 near Columbus. There's going to be more information at that meeting, but uh, if anybody's interested to know about that, um, it's at the community center beginning at 530. And that's all I have, Mayor. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, tomorrow's April 2nd. Uh, there's an election. That's why we're having our meeting this evening. Uh, the polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, there's going to be a contested statewide judicial race for the state Supreme Court on the ballot. Uh, we've got a contested school board race. Um, myself, as well as Alder Trina Reed, will be on the ballot in uncontested races. Um, although there's going to be uncontested seats, I think Columbus usually has a pretty healthy voter turnout for every election, which is great. Hope to see that trend continue tomorrow. Uh, and thank you to Clerk uh, Pat Gable, along with the poll workers and inspectors for all the work that you're doing. <clears throat> I know you're going to have a busy day and have probably had a busy couple weeks in preparing for that, so thank you. Um, also, tonight's going to be the last regular council meeting for Alder Hendrickson, as well as Michael Clark. Uh, I wanted to thank both of you for serving and putting in time here. Uh, it's a sacrifice for anyone to do this um, and to commit the time to doing it. Um, so thanks to both of you for your individual contributions. I think that we've uh, done a good job of leading to some positive change and improved policy here, and it's been a pleasure to serve with both of you. So thank you. Uh, I think a recent and, and relevant example of, of this council's work uh, will appear on tomorrow's ballot, and that is the election of a Columbus municipal judge to serve on the city's newly created municipal court. Um, there's been a lot of time and work devoted to the creation of the court by this body, city staff, and the court, court ad hoc committee as well to bring this to a reality, but I think that's a good example of, you know, it, it took well over a year to do that, so thank you for, for all the work. Um, and uh, I know I don't want to assume anything in an election, but there's probably going to be a few new faces up here at the next council meeting. Um, and we'll continue our work then. So thank you both again. Did anyone else have anything to add up here this evening? If not, I'll make a motion to adjourn then, or ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> second. Motion to second to adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? We'll stand adjourned for a few minutes and return with the committee of the whole meeting then.